Happy December, everybody. I am surprisingly excited for winter this year. I grew up in the Midwest and lived there almost my whole adult life so far. And so I kind of grew up not liking winter. It's like gloomy and dark and the snow just piles on and piles on. And it just made me feel really restricted. And I never loved winter. And then since moving to Colorado a few years ago, I have been loving winter. It's a very weird, <laughs> complete 180 shift for me. It's just so, so sunny and warm here in the winter and you still get snow. I love the snow. And so winter has quickly become like a season that I genuinely look forward to. And I'm also really excited to share with you all today my kind of go-to winter makeup routine. The past few videos on my channel, the past few weeks have been all about sort of my favorite winter makeup, my favorite base products, all of that. So I will link two videos down below and up in the corner for you. The first one is my favorite base products for my dry skin in the winter. And the second one is my winter edit, I called it. So it's basically the colors, the products that I'm most excited to use this year, this winter, especially this holiday season. But today I thought I would just put it all together and kind of give you the picture of what I actually am going to be doing for more casual everyday makeup looks rather than kind of that all out holiday vibe. So after all of that rambling about how excited I am for winter, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. For my complexion today, I'm using the Merit Beauty The Perfectionist Complexion Stick. I have the shade Dune, it's a really good match for me. And I'm gonna just sort of draw this on a few places on my face. I'm not trying to get like full, full coverage here. On a more everyday basis, I do want something a little lighter. So I'm gonna put it kind of down on my jawline and my chin where I won't have bronzer or blush or anything. Same with the forehead. I'm gonna focus on the middle of my forehead. And then my nose is also always an area where I need some just color correcting. Now this might look like a lot of makeup already, but it's really not so much. This is a pretty light coverage foundation stick. I'm also using this as my concealer today. So just putting a little bit more under the eyes so it retains a little more coverage when I blend it out. I'm not using any powder today. The beauty of that Merit Complexion Stick is that even under my eyes, it's so lightweight that I don't really feel the need to set it. So just have a relatively evened out base here. And you probably noticed that I sort of skipped the parts of my face with that complexion stick. I skipped the areas that I put bronzer, blush, and highlight. So like I skipped the perimeter of my forehead here and I skipped my whole cheekbone and kind of my jawline. So I'm gonna go in today with my Salt New York Cream Tint Pros for my bronzer and my highlighter. So I'm gonna do those now. And then for blush today, I'm going to continue using my Salt New York Cream Tint Pros, the shade Spice down here. And then I'm going to mix it up on the back of my hand with a little bit of my Merit Beauty Flesh Balm in the shade Cheeky because I want something just a little more pinky berry toned than the Salt New York is. So if you look at them next to each other, the salt is a little more brown, the Merit is a little bit more uh, pink. So I'm just gonna mix those up on the back of my hand. There is what those two look like mixed together. And I'm gonna go kind of light on the blush. I always say that and then, <laughs> then I end up with rosier cheeks than I intend to, but I'm gonna go a little lighter than I usually do on the blush, just because this is kind of an everyday look. This is really the base I go for most of the time in the winter. I just love the hydrated, glowy look from the lightweight coverage plus the uh, nice cream cheek. So this is this is it basically. Now eyes are really variable for me in the winter time. I mean, I obviously go all out for the holidays. I love 
full on sparkle and glitter and shine so, so much. But I also really love a nice, calm, everyday look in the wintertime as well. So something to kind of match this nice, lightweight base is what I'm going to go with today. I am going to reach into my ABH Sultry palette, but don't be alarmed if you don't have this. Really, all I'm going in here for is this nice, like, slightly cool-toned brown matte. <laughs> um, nothing else, nothing too exciting here. You really could use any palette. I'm not using any of the special shimmers or anything like that in this palette. If you want to follow along with this, just grab the closest thing you have to a cool-toned neutral matte brown. And I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of my eye. I don't want things to get too deep and smoky because this is a more everyday look here, but I do want to add that definition to my outer corner. This is how I personally make my eyes look bigger and more open, is having something on this outer corner that really gets blown out past the edge of my eye. I'm going to blend in just a bit to make sure there's not a harsh line there. Not adding anything else to my brush. Just dragging around the shadow that's already on my lid. And then same thing, not adding anything else, just kind of dragging a little bit of that under my eye on the outer half. So leaving it at that, I'm gonna just match up the other side now. I do love cool tones like this in the winter, but whenever I use them, I like to have something that's like really a pop on my eyelid with it, just because uh, the, the darkness really makes my eyes recede. And so I need something really sparkly to make the eyelids pop. And my absolute favorite thing for this is my ColourPop Super Shock in the shade Amaze. It also has a slight warm peach tone. It's relatively neutral, but there's a little bit of a peach sparkle in there. And so pairing this with cool tones helps bring them back from being so, so gray and pull them a little bit back into kind of the neutral territory. So I am going to just take this on my finger and I just like to pat it basically all over my whole entire lid. I also love to take this particular Super Shock Shadow like all the way up through my crease and onto my brow bone as well, even for a more everyday look. It's enough of a scattered glitter particle look that it doesn't look like I put a shimmer all the way up to my brow bone. <laughs> Loving it. Going back into the palette really quickly, I'm just going to go into the dark brown use a little pencil liner just to add a little definition on my outer corner here. I don't want like a full line. I just also don't want my eyes to get lost in this look. All right, perfect with that eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and mascara off camera. I'm using the Merit Beauty uh, lengthening mascara. I'm using my Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. and my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Okay, last step here are lips, and I am just going to go ahead and use my Merit Beauty shades like Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Taupe. We all saw it coming. I can't stop wearing this, and as the seasons change, I am still wearing it nonstop. So in the summer, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the perfect toasty brown. And then in the fall, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the perfect fall nude lip. And now in the winter, I am like, oh my gosh, it's just such a good color for winter because it's a nice neutral brown, not too warm, not too cool. And so basically, I'm finding a way to justify using this daily, all year round. Alrighty, so there you have it. Relatively quick and easy winter everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little winter makeup routine from me. Thank you so, so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.